but I need to dance. And this isn't making me dance. Oh my Lord. Y'all said gray. Y'all said gray. Help me out here. Okay, you guys, so I need to clean up this house. I was talking to my friend Amanda and we were like, oh, we need to do like this cleaning video for the week. And then she's like, well, I don't really have anything like huge to do. I just need to clean. And I'm like, let's just show our friends, you guys, how it really goes down. It's not always an epic cleaning video, but it will always be motivation. So. I am actually sitting here waiting for the couch guys to show up. And in the meantime, I'm going to do a little cleaning. Um, I'm making some food for the kids. Chris is going to take them to small group while I wait for the couch guys. That's what I'm just going to call them because she can know. And um, I'm making them something to eat. And then I'm going to start deep cleaning a little bit. I've got a couple of rooms that need to be done. My bedroom, my closet, the living room. And then I'm going to show the guys coming in and putting the couch up and taking my own one away. I'm super bummed about it. I told you guys I'm kind of, kind of sad about it, but I know it has to happen. But there is a lot that needs to be done in this house and I'm, and I am going to just be cleaning up and you guys are going to be going along with me. So this is like going to be like a power hour cleaning motivation. Just because it's not an hour long doesn't mean it's not going to motivate you. I'm going to motivate you. So, okay, somebody needs me. Okay, so I just did an ETA on my phone. Let me see what time they said. So you can just text them from your phone and it'll give you the exact time so I can stalk them all day. So I'm just going to give you a rundown real quick. 6.30. Oof. I'm gonna give you a rundown real quick what everything looks like before I change it. This will be the last day you see this couch. Lynn, get a hold of yourself. You're being ridiculous. Okay. Okay. Be the last clean with me with my couch. You guys are probably like, shut up, girl. Just start cleaning. Okay, okay, I will. I'm sorry. I'm allowed to be a little crazy and neurotic with my friends, right? See? Don't compare yourself to me. I'm a hot mess. Oh, that's going to be as good as it's going to be because it's six o'clock at night. That's the dance you make when your kids aren't here and you can start playing music any kind you want. So this is what I'm going to be listening to today. No, no one's had to flu.
I'm going out with you tonight. Are you close to here? Mm -hmm. I'm feeling down. I don't know why. No, it's so surreal. Think I want you here. Oh. Okay, you guys, I have woo, my hair. Okay, I don't care. Yeah, we don't really even know what's going on and we don't care. My vacuum, I did the boys' hair and then I vacuumed it up, but they had humped, hopped into the bath, so I sucked up some of the water and it made some of the hair wet and it sat there for two days. I may or may not have put it back up. Sorry, I really need to become more consistent. So, anyway. Vacuums tend to start smelling a little funky after a while anyways. So I'm gonna show you a really good trick. If you want your house to smell good, real talk, if you want your house to smell good, you want your vacuum to smell good, and you wanna have like a purifying effect, this is a super easy way to do it. So I have a cotton round, you can use a cotton ball, it does not matter. And I'm gonna actually put a little bit of lemon, just like three drops or whatever. I feel like if I'm feeling fancy, I don't know. And you can do anything you want, but I like lemon because it's really invigorating and it really cleans the air. And I am going to put a couple of drops on my her liquid gold honey fell on my countenance. Anyway, sorry. So I'm gonna just put a couple of drops, look. First off. One, two, three. Oh, oh. Okay, well four happened, but you know. And I'm gonna show you what you do to make your whole, to take the funky smell, especially if you have animals, to take the funky smell out of your um, vacuum. You can do this with any vacuum. If you have a bag vacuum, put it in a couple of drops of essential oils in your bag. If you have a canister like this, use a cotton ball or a cotton round, paper towel. I like these because they're a little more dense and what? Cause ain't nobody got time to be cleaning your house. And then when it's done, it smells like some moldy socks. Ooh, especially if you have animals. Since mine is kind of big and the canister isn't very wide, I went ahead and cut mine and I'm just gonna throw in the part that has the oil in it. I'm like, no, no joke. And that smells like some lemon goodness. That's nice. Honestly, that's much better. It was smelling kind of funky for 12. Happy. Gotcha. Do you like dogs? I'm allergic. <gasps> She's hyperallergenic. Oh, you got some stuff. Of course I do. I have five kids. Okay. <laughs> I'm surprised there's not like a whole village of something back there. When you think you're living right, and your house is clean, you realize, no. Ew. Like, I best, I, I'm gonna have to go ahead and start cleaning this up. I gotta, I gotta hang on y'all. One of the pillows. Get pretty. Clearance, cha ching. So, what I was telling you guys, the shop tagger is awesome. 
you look on Safari, find something you want, send it to ShopTagger, and it sends it straight to your little boards that you make. And then whenever there's a coupon or a discount or whatever, the price changes, they alert you. That's amazing because for someone like me who's constantly getting new things but not spending much money, you need ShopTagger in your life. I can't go without it. It actually notified me today and yesterday for some stuff at Target. Yes, please. I'm gonna have all the information in my description box if you wanna check them out. Obviously it blends into the wall and that's okay. We were planning on painting anyways. It's really long. We So we got this extra piece right here because we do have such a large family. But at this point, I don't know. Wow, I didn't realize how much space that other couch actually did take up. It's definitely more open in here. So let me let Ruby out because she's having a fit. Come on. You little brat. She says, whoa, 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 mama, what is this? Um, I sat on a lot. <laughs> this is the most comfortable couch I've, the, the one I had was called the Cory, and we put it the way we did, and you can design it however, and we loved it. But um, this is called, this, this is the Saturn model, and I, it's the most comfortable couch I've ever sat on, honestly, uh, besides the Cory. The Cory is, bomb but if you're gonna get a leather couch this one right here yay it's legit long so just to give you an idea so i'm five foot i'm five foot let me put my head over here i'm five foot uh six so this is me and i'll show you where my feet go let me see if i can do this better you guys my feet come to the end of the first section there's two more sections down there. So if you can get an idea, look at that. Well, Ruby likes it. Oh my word. Yeah, it's definitely long, but it does really open up this space. And I also love it because um, with my allergies, it's just best to have leather because the allergens don't sink into the uh, fabric, so. Maybe I should finish cleaning now? I think so. Okay, so that was really hard, but I can tell you this. I don't think this rug is gonna work. I don't know, you guys. Oh no. What do you think, Ruru's? Just me and you, girlfriend. I'm gonna say something really mature right now. 
There's nothing we can do about it right now, so I'm just gonna have to leave it. I have a couple more rugs that I can put in here, but this configuration no longer works, but I'm not spending money. So I think I'm gonna pull the rug from the front room or my bedroom and bring it into here and then do a little switcheroo later on, but I'm gonna just keep on cleaning you guys. to do. I have some work to do. I'm taking you along with me. I have work to do. Oh my lord. Y'all said gray. Y'all said gray. Help me out here. Y'all got to help me. Okay, so I'm basically questioning all my life choices up to this point. I don't know what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to go finish the closet because I need to get my mind off of it. And I think I just need to sleep on it. I think I just need to wait. So let's go ahead and go clean this closet. I'm gonna straighten up my bedroom, straighten up the front room and give you some more cleaning motivation. <laughs> so I don't lose my mind. Close your eyes for a minute. Close your eyes for a second. I won't change my mind. What does getting deep now?
keep 